hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is claudia nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection or anything that you want to talk about uh we've been on a series and it's been a, a lot of fun the series has allowed me to show you what is in my collection we are on the ending of the series so we're going to talk about uh what do we have left we're going to talk about my spicier fragrances, my woodier fragrances, also niche fragrances, and uh, I might throw in some layering. I might talk about what I use to layer. If these things are interesting to you, then please stay tuned. If you are just now catching this video and you wanna catch up on all the videos that I've talked about my collection, it is in the description under full fragrance collection. Hit the playlist, catch yourself up. Uh, so that way, if you have any questions about anything that I've reviewed and you want to have an individual video on it, you can tell me which one and we can talk about it. So on that note, stay tuned. Let's keep going. Okay, so let's talk about leather. So again, I am learning to not say that I don't have certain notes in my collection because I really do. I was I surprised myself with rose and I'm actually surprising myself with leather. I did not think that I had a lot of leather in my collection, but I do. I have a whole section of them. My first one is going to be Amirage Interlude. Amirage Interlude uh, for me, I put it, um, I could have put it with ginger fragrances, but I, um, I left it here simply because it's really heavy for me. Uh, Interlude Woman is very heavy for me. It has like this more gold ginger, uh, opening. It's kind of, uh, citrus based because it does have grapefruit and bergamot, but that does not last at all. It quickly turns into incense, a smoky, smoky incense note, um, like a roasted walnut uh note i do not get any honey or coffee i thought i would but i do not get any honey or coffee with this fragrance i mostly get jasmine leather benzoin uh argot oud and ox and um vanilla and tonka bean but even a vanilla and tonka bean is not gourmand enough to take front and center this is a very spicy fragrance. I'm not saying that I dislike this fragrance. I just strongly believe that if you have interlude woman in your collection, do not overspray. <laughs> do not overspray this scent at all. Um, you will choke yourself. This is a one to spray. Has to be a really cold night, not even cool, like a cold night where you're wrapped up and your body heat is projecting this fragrance off. This is one of those fragrances that cuts through the weather. Interlude Woman. This one here is another leather scent. It is Paradise Moon. With Paradise Moon by Estee Lauder, you're going to get leather, latamin, and osmanthus. This is a floral based leather, like a leather jacket scent. Uh, the latamin in here is not very strong. It's, uh, it's kind of to soften the leather. Maybe make that leather a little more smooth and creamy, but it's a leather jacket leather, not a new car leather, but the leather jacket. Like when you first get a leather jacket in the store, that aroma that you get, and it takes almost months for it to uh, go away, that is the leather note that is in this fragrance. Another one of them, one, like these, all of the leather ones I'm about to tell you, except for one, are fragrances that is a one, two spray. This is not a multiple spray. This one here is Jasmine Rouge. I had to have it, had to have it. I waited so long to get this one. Um, actually, I think I go back and forth with putting this in my cinnamon or ginger section in my uh in my collection luckily leather ginger cinnamon spicy notes they are all kind of in the same area uh simply because the opening of this is cinnamon ginger cardamom and pepper very spicy very inviting 
then it moves into a floral note of jasmine ylang ylang and neroli but the dry down is like a brum like a fresh brum note so very woody a very woody note um there's sage in this fragrance um leather and and french latamin i will admit that the latamin in this one is better like it 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 actually projects better uh had to have it i've been having a decant of jasmine rouge for so long that i was like i just have to get it so i eventually broke down and i bought it these last two are my favorite this is by tamavici and it's called zimbabwe a uh, zimbabwe this is gorgeous gorgeous the bottle is beautiful it is gorgeous this is and i really could have put this with my middle eastern fragrances but it stands on its own that i don't even want to put it with the middle eastern fragrance even though tamavici is considered a middle eastern house right but this is gorgeous it's orange blossom black currant turkish rose orchid then it has Man uh, Madagascar vanilla and jasmine. There's a leather to it, but this leather is almost like a suede and not so much like a, a, a leather seat or a leather jacket, more suede like. Um, I love this one. I smelled this at uh, Glamcation and immediately ordered it. Uh, as soon as I got home, there's a saffron to it. There's a oud in it, but this oud, I don't know if it's latent oud or if it's argot oud, but this is not a heavy oud. It's not an animatic oud. It's a, um, it's a, it's very much a sexy oud note. Okay. This one here is called saffron colonist. This is gorgeous. This is amazing on men it's amazing on men it's amazing on women like you command a rum when you wear this one by nashani it is passion fruit it's saffron it's pink pepper it's citron uh the leather in this one is like another one of them suede leathers it has ambergris in it um and musk and then there's like this magnolia flower right to it gorgeous the way that the package is, I'm pretty sure that this is geared towards men, but I love fragrances, so I don't care where they market it to. <laughs> if it smells good, I'm going to buy it. So these are my leather scents. So I always say I don't have leather. Well, I stand corrected. I have five leather scents, and three of them I absolutely adore. So I can no longer say that I do not have leather fragrances. Right. This section here is one of my largest se sections for cool weather, and that is my ginger section. My first one is Passe Soie. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful scent. Ginger, mandarin orange, black pepper, and the black pepper can be a tad bit uh, shocking to you. Uh, so be careful in spraying this one. Uh, there's a Mac, uh, a Moroccan jasmine, there's cashmerian, amberwood, and then there is a patchouli. But this patchouli was, it's not earthy to me, and it's not a, like a, if it could be a fresh patchouli, right? But it's not an earthy patchouli, and that's what I like about it. It doesn't have like that dusty, kind of dirty, earthy uh, patchouli note. It's a well-blended patchouli, so I love this is one that I'm not sure if you can still find, and it's uh, Armani Code Satin. This was one of my go-to for a very long time. Ginger, sherbet, pear, orange blossom, neroli, jasmine, vanilla, cacao, and praline. Armani Code Satin was the go-to. This was the go-to for a long time. So like I said, I'm not even sure you can even find this one anymore. And I'm babying this scent. I'm not even going to tell you that I'm not. I am very much babying this scent because I don't know that if I will ever be able to get it back in my collection. This one here is called La Intradite. 
uh, Eau de Perfume Rouge. This was their Rouge version of it. Uh, this one has ginger, blood, uh, blood orange, tuberose, jasmine, uh, and patchouli in it. I really love this on an evening where you're getting dressed up to go out. Very affordable uh, for the power that you get from this fragrance. This was a really good um, option for Interlude. Interlude came out with many of them. Like there was a Rouge, there was a Block. Uh, there were so many of them, but I really enjoyed this one. My next one is called Classique Essence. This is a gorgeous orange blossom ginger blended fragrance. This is amazing. I only could find this one in a smaller bottle. Uh, if I could have gotten a larger bottle of it, I would have tangerine, ginger, orange blossom, jasmine, whipped cream, vanilla, benzoin, cashmere wood, and a base of woody notes, sandalwood, probably uh, cedar is probably so many. If I could have found this in a larger bottle, I would have. But this was so hard to come by once I found it in this 1.7 ounce. If I'm not mistaken, I, I, I just bought it because I had to have it in my collection. Again, it's one of the ones that I don't reach for a whole lot. Um, I reach for it enough, but not a whole lot. But it's a very beautiful scent. My next one is going to be Ani. And what hasn't been said about Ani? All I'm going to tell you is you need to try it. If you have not tried Ani by Nishani's Ani, you need to try it. You need to try it out. You need to see what everyone is talking about. The ginger, pink pepper, cardamom, black currant, and Turkish rose that's in this fragrance is amazing. The sandalwood, cedar, and amagrease is so well, beautifully put together. I just, I think you should try it. I think that everyone should try it once. Um, and again, it's one of those that don't take my word for it. Try it and get a sample of it. Uh, Scent since Splint, I know for sure has Ani. Uh, so you should try it from them. Here is one that is beautiful right and this actually is we used to be able to be found at marshall's this is by sarah Jer uh sarah sarah lord i'm about to mess up her name sarah jessica parker uh i want to say she came out with this scent while she was doing uh what was that show she was on god i keep i always have these brain freezes but she was doing this show and i can't think of it right now and I think that's when she came out with this. This was so beautifully done. Black pepper, sage, and grapefruit in the opening. So it's kind of like I have a spicy sage opening with a bit of uh, citrus. Then it quickly moves into pistachio. Pistachio, patchouli, and white ginger. So this is not an overly spicy scent, but it, is, it does have a bit of a spiciness to it. I don't know what this wood is. It's called Masora wood, but whatever it is, I love it. <laughs> Vetiver and musk. I love stash. I love stash. And if you can find it still at one of those big shops like a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx, a Burlington or something like that, then I think you ought to get it. Um, I want to say the price went up for a while because, of course, all the fragrance girlies was talking about it. So they increased the price. My hope is that price has went back down uh, so that you will have opportunity to smell it. Okay, we're going to talk about this one here. This is Ginger Biscuit. I am not even going to lie to you. I fell for the hype. I did. I did. I did. This is a typical Jo Malone fragrance. It is nice. I'm not going to say that it's not. It's a very nice fragrance. It does not last. It's caramel, vanilla, hazelnut, ginger, uh, cinnamon, tonka bean, and nutmeg. Gorgeous. Beautiful scent for the holidays. Gorgeous. But you're going to have to throw that bottle inside your purse or in your bag because you're going to have to top this one off. It does not last. But that's a typical Joe Malone, so I don't even know why I thought that it would be something different. <laughs> It is a very much a typical Joe Malone scent. Gorgeous. If you want to try Ginger Biscuit, I think you should. Just know that you're going to keep spraying that one. 
you're going to keep putting that one on. And to round off my ginger section is going to be Batin de Fou. And this is by Serge Laton. I, I can't speak enough of uh, greatness about this fragrance. Serge, uh, Serge Laton was, was a great line. Uh, and it was so many of them that you really could fall for. But this one was a good one. This was the first gingerbread fragrance that I had smelled and I fell in love with. I think that is what tempted me to want to get ginger biscuit, thinking that I would get that same gingerbread note. But really, I, I already had it. And um, this is tangerine gingerbread, a bit of powdery note. So it's almost like sugar powder on top of the gingerbread. And then osmanthus. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Batim de Fou. Gorgeous, gorgeous Serge Maton fragrance. All right, let's talk about my tobacco scents. My first one is going to be Manhattan by City Rhythm. Manhattan by City Rhythm is bergamot cinnamon. There's a tea note to it, tobacco leaf, uh, vanilla, vetiver, and cedar. This actually is a gorgeous scent on male chemistry. For me, I use it a lot to layer with other city rhythm fragrances particularly i think i layer it mostly with uh miami amazing together uh, Sa uh san diego amazing together my next one is going to be berry tobacco berry tobacco is blackberry grapefruit red berries vanilla and a lot of spices so you do have to like spices tobacco heliotrope and sandalwood i I, I really enjoyed this fragrance. It is it's like a, um, almost like a cherry pipe tobacco, cherry berry tobacco note. This is my Montal Oud Tobacco. Oud Tobacco is going to give you a citrus kind of spicy opening um, from cardamom. Is It does have Argot Oud in it, but I love the orange blossom blend with that tobacco almost like a citrus tobacco orangey tobacco note uh these scents remind me a lot of like a cigar bar right scents that you would smell in a, a cigar bar when people are smoking a cigar um real sweet and i like i like that note of tobacco really sweet fruity tobaccos cherry tobaccos uh fruity tobaccos that's what these fragrances are for me this one in particular, the heliotrope in it kind of gives a bit of a powdery dry down with a creamy sandalwood. So, Ooh Tobacco by Montal is a good one. This is by Navitus and it is called Vertice. Vertice is nutmeg, cardamom, uh, bergamot, saffron, honey, and cinnamon. All of that is in that first burst, right? Then it turns into this fig, uh, bees, waxy, honey base or heart of it. There's a mango note that is absolutely amazing in it, but the dry down is a vanilla tobacco with benzoin, latamin, and amber grease. Beautiful. Beautiful. My next tobacco is by Theodorus Carlatinus, and it is symphonic. Uh, uh, what is, uh, is it symphonium? No, it's not symphonium. It is, uh, God, what is this one? I can't see it because of the glare. Um, uh, I'll put the name of it at the bottom because, like I said, I can't see past the glare of the light. It's Latimer, wine, saffron, amber, vanilla, tonka bean, wood, musk, and lavender. This was, uh, along with, I want to say, Tobacco Maniac was a good one that came out when this one came out. Um, Symposium. Oh, God, I finally got it at an angle where I can read it. Symposium. That's what this one is. And uh, I liked Symposium over liking uh, Tobacco Maniac. I like them both now. So if you could get Tobacco Maniac, I say get it. Uh, but I did like this one a little bit more. And to round off my collection is my ultimate favorite, will always be my favorite, and that is Tobacco Vanilla. 
by Tom Ford. Tobacco leaf, spicy note, vanilla, uh, cacao, tonka bean, uh, dry fruits, woody notes would always be in my collection. I absolutely love tobacco vanilla. Well, thank you for staying tuned and continuing to watch these videos. Today we talked about, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked it. Uh, again, if you are interested in some of the other fragrances I may have discussed, inside of the description is the full fragrance collection. It's a playlist that I put together for you. Uh, we're gonna keep going. I wanna say we have maybe another few videos to go and then I would officially have talked about my whole collection. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. I always like to ask the question, what do you think I need to add to my collection? Based on the topic we talked about today, what should inside the comments, what fragrances have I not talked about that you think I need to add? That is my question for you. On that note, I want to wish you a wonderful night or whenever it was that you got to watch this video. My hopes that you have subscribed and turned on your notifications. And I will see you in the next video.